Hey guys, what's up? Seth Lake here with BSL Aviation. Exciting news, we've got the latest version of the Ace Guide, a big update. The BSL Ace Guide version 6.1 will be available today. 6.0 released uh, maybe a day or two ago, and I've got just some minor bug fixes that will come out. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how to download the Ace Guide successfully, so I'm going to do a quick video here to show you that process. So around and pull up what you'll probably see all right so this is what you're probably gonna get an email that says update available to the VSL ACE guide now if you're just purchasing this you'll get a similar email that will have a download link so all you're gonna do is tap on that download link and it's gonna take you to the Shopify download location with the big button that says download now now once you download it it's going to open the file in the web browser so this is what it's going to look like if you try to use the guide from this web browser it's not going to work pro appropriately so depending on the browser you're going to go to the settings and you're going to share page with now this is really important you're going to share the page with a dedicated pdf reader and what I recommend, the two programs that work best are a program called GoodReader or a program called ForeFlight. So if you're for flight training, more than likely you're a ForeFlight user. So let's just try that. We're going to go to ForeFlight, and it's going to give us the option to import it into flights or documents, depending on your subscription level. Always just select Documents. And then you're going to go to your Documents section. So now we've got the, the guide here. And now notice these links work perfectly within ForeFlight. So some of the big additions, these yellow buttons up here, tap on that, it's going to take you to three buttons. Let's say we want to study uh, slow flight. So we're going to go to maneuvers, slow flight stalls, and here we go, just maneuvering during slow flight. It takes us right to the airplane flying handbook on how to do slow flight. I want to go back and talk about stalls, power on or power off. We can choose power off. It takes me right to the exact page. If I want to go back and study a check ride, I can just say, hey, check ride, I'm studying for my commercial. Boom, it takes me straight to the airplane or the uh, commercial airplane airman certification standards. All the areas of operation are broken down into easy to use links. And I can simply tap to, okay, let's see what slow flight is during uh, the commercial check ride. So maneuvering during slow flight. I have all of the knowledge topics, risk management topics, and skills reformatted slightly to fit on the same page. This is source data FAA information that I've just reformatted to fit on the same page. These handy icons say that this maneuver is going to be done in multi, and there's also an info note. If I tap on that info note, it takes me to the appropriate section of the appendix that gives me that expanded information here on maneuvering during slow flight. Tap on that same icon, it takes me back to the same page. Tap on the multi, it takes me straight to the multi add-on, which has highlighted the areas of operation that we have to do. The green buttons at the bottom take me right to the airplane flying handbook section that discusses slow flight. What's even better is if I go to my home page here when I'm preparing for the oral, that comes out of area of operation one. I've got all these links to different ECFRs and the aeronautical information manual. So real quick, let's say we want to know more about medical certificates here. We can look in 61123. That links directly to 61123. Now you'll need an internet connection for that, so a little bit of a limitation. But we go back to the guide and we want to see what the AIM has to say about it. Same deal, tap on the link, it takes me straight to the current aeronautical information manual. Uh, so that's, that's an excellent way to navigate that. If I want to know about personal minimums, it takes me to the personal minimum section of the risk management handbook, which is integrated into the guide as well. So you'll see the, we've got the PHAC, the airplane flying handbook, the instrument flying handbook, instrument procedures handbook, and then we've revamped the uh, legal interpretations. I'll show you that in a second. We've got all these advisory circulars. Hit the paperclip up here. We've got a whole other page of different information. Um, I've included stuff that I find helpful as an examiner, like over-the-counter medications by the FAA. And uh, let's take a look at these legal interpretations. Look how many legal interpretations we have here. Uh, and I've allowed some space for, for expansion in the future. 
but I've given it a short note about what that legal interpretation talks about. So I know that the ORD 2018 is commercial instrument training to be met prior to instrument. And I can tap on that, and it takes me to a, a concise kind of summary of the ORD LOI. And then I can, if I want to see the actual LOI, I can tap on that, and it takes me directly to the, the source data LOI. So that's a really useful thing if you're using that. Uh, I've updated the advisory circular for uh, conducting a pro, an IPC and a flight review, and then the 6165J, which is the new uh, advisory circular for um, giving endorsements. And those example endorsements are all hot linked in here. So if I'm going to give a complex endorsement, I simply tap on uh, the complex and it'll take me there. So that's just a little bit about our new version uh, 6 or 6.1 of the ACE guide. Really appreciate your support. I really appreciate your support. Uh, when you purchase this, that, that kind of helps me uh, keep it up to date and keep adding functionality to this guide. And most importantly, it's just going to be really easy for you to reference all this material if you're preparing for a check ride or if you're an ex uh, uh, active examiner or instructor. This thing is really valuable because it allows you to navigate all those rules quickly. So check it out at vsl.arrow. There's a demo version you can download there. Um, but if you want to buy the full version, it's only $70 and you get lifetime updates. Thank you so much for the support. We'll see you next time.